Hi, this is Dave from Steel City Drones Flight Academy. Today, we're on Marco Island in Florida, and we're here to talk about battery maintenance. Battery maintenance is a huge component for you guys for what you need to properly maintain and care for your drone. It's the difference between your drone falling out of the sky and or your batteries maintaining a long life. For example, I have flown the Inspire 1 platform for three and a half years. I still got my original batteries that came with it and I have over 200 flights on each of those batteries. Those batteries are as good today as they were brand new and I'm going to share my secrets with you on how I'm able to do that. I want to understand how drone batteries work. So they are LiPo batteries and LiPo batteries require a special care and maintenance program for them. So what I mean by that is when you go ahead and fully charge a LiPo battery, that battery has to be actually either discharged on to like 20% or at least kept to a storage voltage. A storage voltage is approximately 40 to 50%. And why that's crucial is that if you keep it in a fully charged state for very long, I'm going to use a benchmark of approximately four to six days. After that, the integrals of the battery will start breaking down internally and ever so slightly degrade that performance of that battery to the point where it's basically unusable. So if you try to think that, you know, I got four batteries and I'm going to keep them fully charged and then when I'm ready to go, I'm just going to go out and fly, it doesn't work that way. The batteries won't last and you're actually going to run into a lot of situations, unfortunate situations, and I'll be glad to share some of those stories with you. So some of my students on their flight academy, they've come to me and they've told me about some of the unfortunate crashes that they've had. And I've heard it time after time after time, which is the main reason why I want to get this video out there, where they're all of a sudden they're flying, they're around 40%, everything looks good, and all of a sudden their battery storage is about, their charge is 5% left. Then it just falls out of the sky because they don't have enough time to either to get it down. Or simply they're just flying it and all of a sudden it just drops out of the sky without, without any warning. So what's happening here is that when you get a brand new battery, you charge it up 100%. You go fly it. It has a nice linear discharge rate from the time that it's at 100% all the way down to it's like 20%. That's perfect. But then what ends up happening is as that battery breaks down, that discharge rate then goes becomes non-linear and then comes more of an arc like that. And that's where you get that 40% down to nothing like that. Now another important thing that a lot of mis newer flyers, the mistake that they make is they actually fly them down too low when they fly. So for example, the proper routine for maintenance and usage would be uh, set your voltage, uh, set your uh, warning to either at 35 or 30 percent start warning you to start bringing it back. And that allows you to be able to bring it back and land by the time you still have 20% left in them. That's ideal. If you try to cheat it and try to get more out of there where you're trying to land it at 10%, 5%, what ends up happening is that battery will get ultra hot as it gets lower and lower and lower in capacity. And to the point where it can be really hot to the touch. And that's another way of instantly frying that battery's performance. And once that happens, it becomes a boat anchor. And what's the worst part about it is the battery itself, if you look at it, it won't look any worse than a brand new battery. Whereas some of the older style LiPo batteries, they would swell up a lot and you could even smell them. There's really no visual uh, indications on these newer DJI batteries. So, what do you do? So the question then is, what do you do? Well, there's three different things that you can do. A, whatever you don't end up using when you go fly, you go home and then you fly them down to at least 50, 40, 50%. 50 or you go ahead and get a real good battery charger for it that will discharge it down to a storage voltage for you so that you don't have to go ahead and worry about flying them down. Who wants to do that? Now, if you have a DJI drone, 
there is a feature in the app that supposedly is supposed to trickle charge that voltage down for you to what that storage voltage that I'm talking about. I could have never get that to work and I have tried that on just about every platform. Phantom 4, then Spire 1, then Spire 2, the Matri 600, and M200 series. I tried them on all of them. So I don't know why it doesn't work. Um, it just doesn't and it's not a good way just to discharge them. I go by the old school way of a battery uh, charger, having that battery charger do it for you. So that is one way to ensure, A, your drone's not gonna fall out of the sky, and B, that you're gonna get the maximum life and performance out of your batteries. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, give me a call. Thanks. If you like this video and like to see more free videos in the future, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And while you're at it, if you're interested in free lessons on how to fly drones, discounts on drone equipment, discounts on insurance or access to our exclusive drone video library, check out our website, steelcityflightacademy.com.